Welcome everyone, today I'll show you how to import a WoW model with its bone intact. Why would you want its bones to be intact? Well, because it's easier to maneuver than rigging up a biped in 3ds Max. A biped is limited compared to the original model's bones that WoW uses. So, let's begin. I'll show you, go to this site Wall model viewer Atlassian net. You don't need a wiki, but this is the entire link for the download page. And download the latest model. Depending on your wall, if you have a cataclysm model like I have, you will need a older model. You could see older models here, but yeah, you can Google for them. If you have the latest wall, the latest model will work. Okay, let's get started. You download that and install it. And you get this. It will ask you where to ins where your WoW installation is. So don't worry, just tell it where it is. And go down to characters. I'll use Blood Elf but because it has more bones than the others. Because it's a new newer model. I think the Worgen also has those, but I found it on the Blood Elf. Let's pick male. Yeah, I know Blood Elves. Wow, too typical. Yeah, hey. I don't care that about that. Let's dress it up like we want. Shoulders. I'm going to go random on these things. Let's pick something. This shirt isn't seeable. Via viewable. Ah, visible. Seeable. What's up with me? That. I don't really care about these. Legs. Anything. Looks. Gate. <laughs> Get some boots in here. Then whatever. I won't put a cape because uh, the cape is uh, simulated like in WoW. It's not very clothy. I will make a separate video on how to get a real cloth cape in 3ds Max. All right. After you done done dressing him in skin color and whatnot, you do this. Go. Uh, let me see if I can show you this because I have an upper resolution on my screen. Uh, okay, this. I think now you can see everything. Alright. You go here and find find stop. It's one for free. 100 for free. This is what you, you need. And go. File. Export. FBX. And save it somewhere. I don't really care where. Blood Elf Mail. FBX. Save. And here you write one for free. Why you want to write that? Well, if you don't write it, it will export all the animations. And it will take a whole lot of time. And sometimes it will just freeze. It won't show not responding, but it will freeze and not work at all. You'll need to close it forcefully with Control delete Alright, so OK. Export complete. This is what we wanted to see. Let's minimize this and maximize 3ds Max. I had uh, everything on my uh, taskbar already started. Let's get you to show everything. Okay. Now you want to go start. Uh, start file. I think that's the file. And import. I'm not 100% sure if uh, 3ds Max has FBX support right from the get gone, but I reckon it does. I don't know, you should look that up. I'm not sure. I have a shitload of plugins in this thing. Okay, so get blood mail, blood of mail. That's what I picked. And be sure to uncheck animation and just hit OK. My OK is off screen. I'll just click it. Wait for it a moment. You may get an error. It's not 100%. And you get this. Let's maximize this. Well, it's kinda ugly. That's not a problem. And it has some problems, like this. That's easy to fix. Go into your material ed editor. And your materials are empty, so you can't uh, play around. Pick this tool in an empty material slot. You may have something else around here. Pick an empty one. 
pick material from object and just click and you get the entire materials and this is the eye for the blood elf it's available even for the undead and set the opacity to zero why you want to do this? because that it just looks better now you may notice let me zoom in a little okay not there the eyes are closed how do we fix this? well I don't remember what bone is exactly you have to find inside the skull let me make the body invisible hide you have to find one of these bones that controls the eyes is it this one I'm not really sure on hide all let's check if I do this no it's not that one you will have to play around with the bones to find it to find the correct one and let me show you what I mean by uh, you can control everything on this thing behind besides the eyelids look at I picked this bone it's the cheek bone and then I can hey <laughs> okay my something is not right whoa why the boss is doing that okay interesting can I reset it? Uh, I don't really know what it. What, whoa! Why it's doing that, but. You get the idea. It does work sometimes. Yeah. And I can't. Um, step backward. I don't really know what's up with 3ds Max today. I had a little problem. And that works for everything. I mean, let me make his hand move come on inside the forearm you'll find this use the rotation tool something is not right <laughs> you can get it to work it works when only when it wants to okay I moved his hand <laughs> Whoa. let's render <laughs> it's ugly as fuck uh, but that's the, the way and you can put him in all kind of poses just find the right bone. A uh, word of caution, if you want to move uh, like I move this, you will have to select the bone inside the forearm. If you want to move the forearm, you will have to find the bone inside the arm. Here it is. Look, it's gonna go hey, oh, I know. If you want to move the arm, it's inside the, um, what you call it? The upper arm, the, not the elbow. I don't know, you understand what I mean. It's inside here. So, that's about it. And that's available for the entire body. You may say, what's this? Is it his crutch? No, it ain't its crutch. It's uh, for tabards. If he had tabard, it would be attached to this one. And uh, you may see it's another one here. It's for the tail. Let's think of the Draenei. They have tails. Yeah. Those in the back, I'm not sure what they are for. There's a ponytail one inside here. I think it is inside the model. I can't see it. Let's check. No, this one doesn't have a ponytail. Interesting. Well, that's about it. Thank you for watching. And please rate, comment, and even subscribe. I'll be happy to answer your questions. So, toodles!